Okay. Welcome, everybody, to the jewelry box. There's something very wrong with my streaming PC. Would you look at that? The transition still doesn't work correctly. Good. What the fuck is... Hey look, that ran at the correct frame rate because it's not trying to do a physics simulation in the background. Who could have predicted that? <laughs> Welcome to mind-bending shenanigans and properly to the jewelry box. Uh, tonight... Cube! Uh, I'm on the graphics. Well, the options configurator for Cube because it opened at the wrong resolution. Also, I haven't played this game since my uh, maximum screen resolution was apparently 240. Or uh, no, what was the what was the setting? No, not 240. Um, 1024. It was it was down there. Which, like, I suppose it's nice that Steam remembers that, but also that's hideously inconvenient when my computer is uh, now capable of more. Dynamic shadows, environment shadows. This game's old. It's not gonna. It's not gonna overtax my system. Fucking do it. Uh, a little bit on the brighter side. You ever th stop and realize? Uh, stop and think how nice it is that there's actually just a gamma slider inside of games now, rather than like, if the game is too dark, adjust your monitor yourself, asshole. Sometimes I think about things like that. Do not smooth my mouse. I will smooth my mouse with my smoother movements. Alright. Get the music in here. There. There's DLC. That sounds bad. Alright. Uh, let's pick Cube. For those of you unfamiliar with Cube, uh, the developers played Portal a few times and, and wanted to make a puzzle game. With all due respect, your best guess is still just a guess. No, that's just me being a piece of shit. Lots of lots of people played Portal. It was incredibly influential. Uh, there's Hold just. His oxygen consumption's going up. Let's face it. There's a lot of games that are very Portal in feeling. This is hey, one of them, though I think it has here. a lot of merits on its You've own. Been out for a couple weeks. Fifteen days, in fact. They thought you were dead. Apparently, we've been unconscious for fifteen days. Would be. I wouldn't worry about it. Listen, there's been a complication. We can't link it to your POV camera, and it looks like communications are only working one way. Convenient. You can hear me, I hope, but I can't hear you. That means we don't know how badly you were affected by the transportation. If you're feeling confused or disoriented, you should know that deep space travel can do you pretty serious psychological damage, especially to your memory. Even a few hours out there in the dark can cause permanent problems. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mission Control are concerned you might have no idea who you are or why you're in there. If that's true, I have some difficult facts for you. You're a long way from Earth, a very long way. But every single person on the planet is depending on you. That thing you're inside right now, whatever it is, is gonna hit Earth in the next few hours. And if it does, that's the end of everything. You need to decipher and dismantle it from the inside before that happens. I just hope you haven't forgotten how. Now, listen carefully. Hello, Techno. This is important. 
Are there subtitles? I don't remember if there were subtitles. Let me get the Discord stream going for you there. Tell my orbit around the far Thank side you. Of the Earth. I'll move out of How are you doing tonight? When that happens, I'm pretty good. You're gonna be on your own for a while. Just stay calm. This was my 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 first. Uh, okay, um, this is it. I'm orbiting out of range now. I'll be back soon. Oh my god, will you please stop? You. <laughs> you may have serious problems with your memory. Two seconds later, please remember what I told you. Um, no, so this was my, my first of three days off in a row, thanks to my newly rejiggered schedule, which is going to help me feel a lot better real quick. Hopefully. So, uh, yeah. Um, but no, I had some more technical issues at the start of this stream that I was just commenting on for uh, a lot of, well, for, for, for the last few minutes here before we begin. Um, but I think I have solved the problem for now. So I'm happy for that, too. Anyway, as the long-winded opening uh, mentioned... We are inside some kind of alien object in the sky. Uh, I guess not the sky, in space. It's headed for Earth. Um, and we were sent here through some kind of deep space transmission uh, to disable it before it impacts the Earth because it seems like it's gonna fucking kill everything. Um, and... Uh, yeah. Well, they didn't beam you to a very convenient spot, apparently. Yeah, I, I think I think it's more just to to illustrate that this whole thing is um, extremely modular. One of six. I'm so glad these aliens count in unary. Unary, for those unaware, um, is, uh, well, like counting in your fingers, essentially, each unit is just one. It, it's not the thing that has to do with your bladder. That's urinary. Anyway, welcome to the mechanic. Uh, if you're aiming at a colorful thing, you can influence it to do a thing. In the case of red, extend with left click and retract with right. Wow, this is made for VR. Actually, it's from like 2008 or something, so uh, maybe not. Well, maybe not, but it's kind of made for VR, though. Kinda, yeah. This would this would go very well in VR. I understand at this point there's a cube two. Uh, blue is the same. You retract it but touching it causes it to bounce you. <laughs> so far, blue is, uh, blue is the favorite, I'd say. It's my yeah. favorite. Yellow's interesting. The one that you choose to extend will be the tallest. It pulls out everything next to it. Yeah. The middle, if you choose the middle one, uh, you don't actually get the full three height. You just, you get this, which is fine. Now, if you pull on them when they're already out, do they readjust? Nope. Hmm. I, in fact, 
don't believe I, yeah, I, I can't interact with them when they're already out. I feel like that was a missed opportunity. Or a Riven opportunity. Yeah. Or an Uru opportunity. Uruptunity. <laughs> What's this? A opportunity. Yeah, definitely. in time now interestingly if they are blocked you, can't. you just you just can't put those french fries back do them right. they do look like french fries i hate it <laughs> they really do oh man at least we can we can be fairly confident that the consciousness in in charge of creating this does have the same color theory that people do ah. oh that's awkward Now, the fact that this whole place is made out of cubes is neat, but it really... It honestly bothers me that this happens. That there's, like, slanted walls that aren't... That they're not... They're not rotated cubes to make slanted walls. The cubes just don't line up. Anyway, that was one. Completed. And now, two. They're like flashing you like men in black. That can't be good. Okay, so now, yellow cubes. That was a joke. I know this is green. This time. This time I know it's green. How How is the, uh, the color stuff in, in this? It's not bad. It's they've actually chosen a fairly good green. I I wish there were better um like color blindness indicators per se. Um but it's 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 fine. It's passable. The blocks all at least have a very different mm -hmm. form from one another. So like not the worst case there. They do different things, so yeah. you know anyway. Like, the, the yellow ones are always three blocks long. The blue ones uh, don't sit on the ground. They retract into the ground. The only ones that actually sit on the ground are the green ones. You're supposed to reach behind that block? Yep. Uh, huh. Also, the fact that it slides around on top of this always makes me worry because it feels like it's gonna... I feel like that's like attention to detail on behalf of the developers. So, uh, good for them. Yes, the red blocks can only be in three different positions. One of my primary complaints with this game... Um, is that it doesn't actually it doesn't seem like it takes enough time to let the player learn because like room one after after the navigation stopped was you got two gloves here's this red thing what <laughs> I don't know it's it's very shit it's very old school game design standards um, wherein 
they're, they're, you're just kind of giving the player like, all right, you have a limited number of resources, press buttons until you figure out what they do. Which is sort of a mixed bag. In, in the console days, that was kind of passable. Um, I don't like how that ha I don't like how that happened. In the console days, that was kind of passable because, like, you know, you only have so many buttons. But this is a computer game. I have an absolute ass pile of buttons. It. I don't know. I, this is this is poorly expressed on my part, uh, but I think you get what I'm getting at here. Is that it's. Name is 919. 919. Okay. Thanks, lore ghost. Um, no, like, like I said, I'm, I'm explaining it poorly uh, a little bit, but there's, there's something to be said for... Uh, interlocking french fries satisfying interlocking french fries um, there's something to be said for the uh, like the player experience wherein you brace for a player who potentially knows nothing I would much rather games at least have brace for a player who potentially knows nothing is is I think the best practices for especially puzzle game design especially like a game that is very different from other things uh, introduce even the concepts of playing the game like uh, uh, Portal 2 begins with that brief little hotel room thing where it bothers to explain walking and jumping and clicking and so on. Like, brace for the concept of a person who has not played a video game, um, but do it in such a way that if they have, it's not in their way exactly. Uh, it's integrated into the story, but like, if someone genuinely has not experienced the WASDA space and clicking interface Portal shows them that well Portal 2 shows them that um, and there's just something a little there's something a little peculiar to me about the way this game just here you go figure it out with zero indication which bothers me Again, I'm explaining things poorly because I'm tired. It's been a weird day, but again, I think you I think you get what I'm getting at here. By the way, physics puzzles. This is a terrible portent of things to come. Um They started out with a good one though. Plenty of time to set up. True. Not a timing puzzle like I suspect there may be yep so they're breaking you into it you know and, that's a good that's a good what you were talking about that's a very good point techno why are there balls in a game called cube <laughs> all right welcome to purple or pink or whatever the fuck you want to call this oh, we're flipping Oh, we are rotating. They rotate sections of the stage that they are a part of. Okay. You know, I'm going to go ahead and argue that rotating also implies a non-square sort of object. Yeah. And that these cube people are just a bunch of fakers.
Are you gonna fall onto that one from this one? Oh no, you're jumping. Boy. Oh no, but I can't possibly make that. Is it the yellow ones? No, they're not part of the wall. Oh. I see. Fuck! <laughs> Shut up! Uh, how many playthroughs have you done of this? Shut up! <laughs> yeah, as a joke, but also unironically, because you, you, you are, you, you're, you sound like you know the puzzles. I played this a few times years ago. Um, again, when I started it up, Steam uh, helpfully asterisk remembered my game resolution from back in the day uh, and set it to um, uh, 1024p. Mm. So it's it's been a bit. Um, but uh, quick orbit. I've been speaking with Mission Control. They're Orbits go fast, you. apparently. Because your radio's out, we don't know if you've lost your memory or not. If you have, it could... <laughs> it could be bad for the mission. Yeah, people will die. Good writing. Perfect. One of the methods they use to bring back memories for amnesiac patients is to talk to them about important events in their lives. So, before you left, you wrote yourself a letter. Just so... It's a letter to you I'm just gonna talk over this person because it's it's the story is bad. Uh, I'm gonna continue moving the mouse to the right, um, stopping occasionally to readjust the physical mouse to the left. And I want you to observe something here as I look further down. And then back up. And then back down. What? You can look further down than straight down. Oh. That's straight down. Rotating my mouse now is still uh, clockwise. Or the floor is counterclockwise relative to my motion. I can look down er. Like I, I can look down er than straight down, and it's it's very weird. Wow. But can you suck your own? I, I can also look more up than straight up, and it's it's a little bit weird. Where am I going? Shouldn't have done that while well, I was expected to be going a particular direction. Hoot, hoot. Why is this corner here? Yeah, just thinking about these symbols. Yeah, this is not very alien of them. No. This is definitely government funded conspiracy Ow. nonsense. So unfortunately, the reset button resets all elements of the puzzle, not just the key, the green thing which you can potentially uh, you know, fuck up. Hmm. So that's that's a little irritating. I wonder if that prevents permastucks. I can't. I don't want to consider the mechanics enough to really figure that out. Really? Oh, you're not supposed to ride it. I know, but I wanted to. I get it. Oh, you knew all along, huh? So, the blue was popping out because of you. Yeah, it was trying to propel me. Yep. And there it just punched me in the back. 
that's nice. Mm. Mm. There we go. U using a blue that's already been sprung. Pumped. Yeah. Sprung's a better word. Yeah. Uh. What? This is bad. <laughs> <laughs> This is a physics puzzle, isn't it? Uh, of course. Sure is. Why wouldn't it be? It's a physics puzzle that happens repeatedly. Which I actually kind of enjoy as as a concept. Just it like is a definite trope in the, puzzle games. The same puzzle elements, but more of them every time. That is a fine line between you know, getting tedious and and giving people a chance to demonstrate mastery. Oh. Big brain. Oh, you tuck it in and then you rotate it and pull them out again? Is that it? Wrong direction! Hmm? Wrong direction! Oh, right, that was still there. If that was the solution, that's kind of insane. Motherfuck. That's the solution. Interesting. Still a, l a little bit garbage, but here we are. <laughs> a little bit. Kind of cool. What's that way? What's the other way? What's back that way? Back down. And now, up! It's like you're some kind of Amadeus of the twisting. Oh, you're trying to reset it? Oh, Yeah, I wanted to reset it while I was down here and see what happens. Yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> exposing the weakness in the cutscene system. Thank you, Heathen. But how do you know if you got the rotation right for that face? Can you hear me? It's hot for test! All right, new concept, ghosts. Uh, I could do without the story at all. Yeah, same. Yeah, it didn't take long for them to kind of lose me on that one. Hmm. So I need to trigger each of these once. It triggers by touching that color? Yep. The ball can be multiple colors. Oh, the ball changed color. Only a white ball can be uh, affected. And so that means I have to jump that one. And now... Whack! Jump that one. And there's that. You've handled those ghost balls appropriately. Thanks, Dewey. You know, I take pride in my ghost ball handling. I think that was a scene in Scary Movie 2.
Ha <laughs> Secret collectibles. If you know how to manipulate physics correctly, there are things you can do. So these are interesting-ish areas. The, the purpose here is to make this stained window graphic line up with itself. Um, and these are all uh, red extendable blocks uh, with peculiar texturing on them. Oh, those rotate a lot yes so I believe that's correct for the bottom the idea is that you stand here and they line up from that visual position um, but of course you're looking at them through the stained glass which uh, neatly fucks with your perception of color which sure is a choice Believes that's pretty bad. That's not correct, is it? No, it must be. We could just say that it is. And if it's not, you just twist it, right? I'm just glad it's not more than the three colors. But uh, you're quite correct. It's not the best experience for me. So that's yellow on the bottom. Nope. Now that's yellow on the bottom. But also I need I also need more yellow there. More. Oh, it's like the Star Wars meme. He says more. I don't think it got better. I actually think that it was it was good to begin with. But I guess it is kind of hard just based on the way the colors look. The, like the pattern. Yup. It's the pattern is rotational with itself or it's symmetrical in some way. Also I need to rotate that back one and I can't do that without rotating the middle one. Which is uh, a choice. Oh no, there's a missing. So I need, it's not so I need bad. red. Okay, so this is 180 degrees off of where it ought to be. Heck. Alright, is that it? Not quite. No, it's yellow, but it's supposed to be red. Oh, piss. Is it? On the, uh... I guess you'd say the 3 o'clock square. Oh, you're right. I just, maybe they, yeah, they just need to twist. Maybe. No. Now the blue is wrong. I think you might be 90 degrees off of where you need to be. Yeah, because I, I can't get that to be blue. I think there's, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's this one that's wrong, isn't it? Yep, horizontal was the answer. Nope. Um... Also no.
Ah. Yeah. Um. You have a couple, I think, that are supposed to be red, but they look kind of orange. Oh, yep, you're right. I sure do. Hmm. So now the back ones need to flip. Look, I remember that the secret collectibles are here, not how to do them. Oh, it's better than them being trivial. It's content. There. I did it. What's, the, what's my prize? Fuck you. At least your prize wasn't more dialogue. Okay. Yeah, so this is what we're going to be doing for the rest of the game, right? Bowling. Taking balls to my face! Ow. Mm -hmm. Ghost balls. Oh, you! It needs to go in the yellow one because it turned yellow. Yep. Is that it? That's exactly it. Mm. it blue but then you'll get it to turn red right there we go that worked perfectly oh, I thought you had done blue already but yeah, I guess not if they go away when you do them now fuck you mm. Mm. There we go. Perfect. That was a hellish glow. Oh, good. Uh, Lore. I'm back in range. Fingers crossed. Look, mission control think that if you have lost your memory, me just giving you little details about yourself won't be enough to spark anything. They want me to read something more specific something very personal to you. I'm going to read your so, yearbook quote. I want you to know, Dear Diary. I'm only reading this because you wrote it to yourself. Jesus it was 3 p.m. on a Sunday. You were upstairs at home. A teenage boy broke into your house. He thought you were away on vacation. Just... You went downstairs. <sighs> Literally stopping the game so that lore can happen. Yeah, literally stopping the game so that a traumatic story about gun violence uh, can occur in your ears. Twelve seconds later. Yep, I killed a man. Killed a child. I, yeah, I, I killed a child for breaking into my home. The story didn't really help me, but also the fact that this uh, hallway is undulating does not help me. A, a, cu yeah. a cube shaped anus it lies has before a us. Vibe. I have several certain vibes. That actually reminds oh me of... Oh my no. god, you're right. This is what we're doing. <laughs> Fuck, man. Hey, Forest Temple. Wait, no. Um, so, you were saying something about color vision earlier. Would you like to tell me what's wrong with this picture? Y 
these are not colors that you have used. Oh, they are, Dewey. They're combinations of colors I've used. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, this becomes a little bit harder to manage the 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 color vision of Oh. So this I have to make it pass through red and blue, red and yellow, and then mm -hmm. of course um yellow and blue. Yellow and blue. Yeah. See, I, 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 it occurred to me that it might have been a combination thing. Then I saw the green one, and you know, green just exists as well. So it's kind of just cursed. However, you stack it. Damn. Nice try, though. <laughs> Was that like a cheating? attempt I, I was, was yeah I was gonna I was trying to knock it into that one but that's not what happened here uh, it's it's still moving I don't oh, I, th I don't think it can get over the hump between the the, 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 mm, yeah. the pits the hump between the pits hump the pits no um <laughs> sorry I don't I don't know what uh, I don't know what came in me, over in in over me Normally, there's a pit between the humps. You're right. Okay, what the fuck am I doing here? Yellow. Okay, yellow and blue. Yellow and blue. We're just we're just kind of relaxing and em embracing oblivion. Oh god, wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong... Fuck. Uh, it's not even salvageable as a different solution. Okay, we have green. Fine, we'll take care of that one then. All right. No, I don't need that anymore. Well, I mean, I kind of do. Sure do love that I can't look at the puzzle elements as I'm attempting to manipulate some of the puzzle elements. There we go. I would say what's the worst that could happen, but we're kind of being subjected to it. Yeah. Okay. Yellow. Yeah! Oh, clipped it. Very nice. The puzzles aren't bad, they're just not as good as they could be. If they're just a little bit more user friendly. Yeah. I feel like the reaction time of the character is slower than the reaction time of the player. I don't like that I can only, like, I'm spamming click right now. Where you see the flashes of light, that's as fast as the character can react in se in sequence. And they did this on purpose for some reason. Yeah, I would very much like to be able to just actually do things that fast, but that's not how the experience is. Hey, an elevator! I bet we're going to be subjected to lore. 
Like, hopefully yeah, it's the more interesting hey. person. Hey! I know you couldn't hear me down there. Yes. She's a liar. You're not where they say you are. They'll leave you alone to die in the dark. Well, here's the fucking dark. <laughs> uh, just, I, just when I was going to use the colors. I, I remind you, um, chat, uh, I have posted oh my, the my, my. And also there's a filter on the capture card to increase its brightness a little bit. And it still looks this fucking dark to you. Pretty sure that's a SpongeBob meme. It's advanced darkness. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk around in here now that the lights have stopped flipping out. And just feel my way around the walls with one Are or two. Are you secret hunting? Yeah, a little bit. Feel my way around the walls with uh, one or two fingers and see how they respond. Spicy. So Wait, did you Obviously this one's red. You went into the shadows of one side, but you came back to the other side? Maybe not. No, there wasn't anything, so I, I disengaged from my idea. Ah. Kind of surprising there wasn't. <laughs> that was that almost was the, the, the beginning of the Mario jingle. <laughs> So, we understand colors, we understand color mixing, now we can only interact with what we can see. Meanwhile, they still exist. Their geometry does, but their properties don't. So the blue needed to be turned on. Yes. annoying yes yeah their geometry still exists but the properties as far as the glove interactions do not long hallway I more you can hear me. the lights on the outside of the cube have gone dark mission control think that's good they say you must have hit it somewhere that hurts so keep doing what you're doing I haven't hit a goddamn thing I mean, I know it's you tough put balls in pits. I've been alone here on the International Space Station for... Oh, for oh, you want me to believe that you're on the International Space Station? Yeah, there's no goddamn way your orbits are that fast. Round and round and round the Earth. Also, that there's only wild. one person on the space station. Yeah, that's not how that works. The truth is, if you leave a person but That's just like a dead world. astronaut waiting to happen. I, I do believe that the ISS orbit is pretty fast. I'm looking that up now. Not that fast. Not like yeah. 10 minutes ago. No. It takes 90 minutes, so it is pretty fast. So I'm even willing to, like, give the game the benefit of the doubt and be like, hey. it's one of those things where time is sped up for the convenience. I mean, factor. sure, we, we are both in orbit. Time does not run at the same rate as it usually does for us. I'll believe that. <laughs> well, you know, like, when, when you did Subnautica and it was like, there's going to be an explosion in two hours and it was in ten minutes. Just sort of video game time dilation. Also, the fact that she could just be lying, though, it's, it's like, as the guy says, it's 
possible. Not a great viewer experience, this whole area. I had a terrible thought, which is that probably at the end of this, it's like a dumb version of Mist, and they're both telling you to choose their option, and you have to pick Bring which me the blue pit pages. to drop a ball into. Yeah. Bring me the blue... <laughs> the red pages. Blue pages, no, not the blue, the red. Uh... It's it's cool. Give them props for like fully exploring their their thing, but at the same time, they couldn't come up with anything else yeah. for these mechanics. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit. It's a bit. Sure, I'm glad I activated Bloom. There's a lot of Bloom. Like, this this literally makes me feel like my glasses are uncleanable. I'm gonna take my glasses off and it's still there. Like, my now my eyes are uncleanable. How do I get this where I want this to be, I wonder? Oh, right. Okay. Damn it. Ah, good. Now they're all active at once. Now I can actually see some things. Yeah, they're all active at once. Perhaps there's a secret back here. In spaces I cannot see. I don't actually know. Maybe not. Maybe that's all a dumb idea. I lost track of reality. That'll happen. You lost track of reality and you haven't even been subjected to the Hansenai machine. The, the what? Uh, it's a thing I'm building that I cannot discuss on this channel. Oh. oh. <laughs> it sounds like a profound experience. I've been listening from inside my box. They say you're out in space. You're not. You're underground. They buried you alive down there so they could test you. They're going to test you and test you until you rot into dust. And they do something to your memory. They did it to mine. They don't want you to remember who you are because you don't know what's happening. You'll have faith that it will end. You'll have faith that someone will let you out of the dark, but they won't. You have to rip that faith out of your skull and replace it with truth. Or you'll die down there. So those crumbled blocks don't have colliders. Just figured I'd mention that game design thing. 
is just <laughs> the slanted ones do but the crumbled ones that uh, are a little bit more significant uh, don't are we are we in the, the like campaign right now or was this the the secret still I don't actually know if I made it into the secret or not also uh, this one is red despite being very dark and you just kind of have to know that based on its shape so colors be damned hey look these ones have colliders isn't that interesting So new concept, uh, not being able to directly interact with things. The puzzle is on the other side of glass. Fortunately, I can still see the things and control them, but the puzzle is on the other side of glass. Hopefully this means that the rolling is over. Also, yeah, you see how screwy that wall is there in the middle? It's a little bit warped. That's what delineates the secrets. Okay, so yes, I did make it into the secret, and then that one on the other side of the glass was the secret. So now I have to go back through that a little bit. Oopsie doopsie. I didn't think I had touched the trigger for it, and then suddenly I was in here. So I, I, I sort of... I also forgot where I was. But, you know, the fact that there's this alternate reality that you can sort of phase into with weird, weird places uh, that is all dilapidated, I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. Right? Uh, absolutely. I, I, for one, am totally hyped. So, given that we know what portal, or what purples do, portal purple given that we know what uh, purple does what do you think these are going to do in this orientation they're going to rotate the whole floor 180 degrees like a pancake you remember those tilty mazes I don't like this no me either I, I think this is quite bad because uh, the answer to you remember those tilty mazes is frequently yes, I hated them. And also your con your controls on this are way worse than any of those tilty mazes ever were. Yeah, this is just tedious. Yay! I did it. You mastered the art of rolling the ball. Yeah, God, I could have, I could have bought this. I could have brought this back for ball stream. Despite the name. <laughs> By the way, the the name cube Q U B E, allegedly stands for quick understanding of block extrusion, um, but I guarantee you they made up Q U B E before they figured out what it would mean.
because that's dumb. Yes. Bam. But have you played cubes uh, spelled Q U B E H? Uh, no. That is a different game that does have a similar aesthetic to this one that involves blocks. So we have a new element. Hmm. Mirrors, also magnets. I guess not mirrors so much as refractors. Whatever. I'm just glad we're not rolling the ball. It, this this kind of puzzle is actually like just inherently more fun as well. I just again. I wish, like, I need to get these lined up. I need to get that and that lined up. Oh no, can't actually see what I'm doing. I mean, I, I, I realize also I could just move, but like... <laughs> <laughs> from where you enter the room, you should be able to see what you're doing. Oh, so there's a, a a magnet on the ceiling or something, or? Oh, I see. The magnet is powerful enough that it just kind of levitates there. Ah, uh, my face. That's too short. That is too short. That's unfortunate for me. Unfortunate. Oh, yeah. You first need to get, well, I guess either order really, since this appears to be staying open. There definitely seems potential for a secret to be got to by levitating cubes where you shouldn't. Doesn't there? I think that did it. No? No. That did! <laughs> this is sort of a physics engine. Close enough! Okay, this is kind of... Damn it! Kind of stupid, but... I started hearing the Luminoth music from Metroid Prime <laughs> when that beam went up. Like when he looks at the sky. <laughs> Fucking yeah, Prime basically. 2. Okay, fingers crossed you can hear me again. I have good news. Actually, two pieces of good news. We've started to see a definite effect on the cube itself. How do you know? Parts of the outer layer seem to be coming apart. Whatever you're doing in there is working great. Second piece of good news. Mission control say you're almost close enough for them to contact you directly. So we're going to organize a link up to your wife. She is dying to talk to you. I have a wife. Keep going. Oh boy. Make it happen. He's definitely oh, aren't. Oh, man. Again, so good he's, luck. he's definitely aren't. Just paid actors. <laughs> yeah, hint, hinty controls to, to suggest me to do one thing or another. Oh, man. So, Moon was a good movie. And this is, uh, I guess they're trying to have a plot that's like something like that, I guess. Sure. Except Moon was good. This is not as good. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. I mean, really, as long as the door stays open. I can just, oh, I can that, just do this now. could be a secret, right? If he could get up there. Oh. I, I can't make them go up, though. He can only make them go this far up. Yeah. But that's too, too short. I see. Yes. Oh, but you, then you use one to push the other one up one further. Is that possible? It is. I just kind of messed up a little. Yeah, but I thought that was a secret, but apparently it's just the exit, so... Would have been a good spot for a secret. Slorp. Oh, we slorping. I missed. I missed again the other way. Close enough. Okay. Call attempting to cheat. Maybe. You don't. You don't have reaction time as a character fast enough for that to work. Unfortunately. It was pretty unfortunate. But now you can use this to make magnetism happen in other directions. Oh, a, a thought occurs. Yeah. Insane clown posse. <laughs> what, as an interrupt? No, just the the significance of the magnets. In a largely black and white environment. That's true. That is true. It's it's like you are manipulating magnets inside a juggalo. The enormous space juggalo comes for us all. Did that connect for long enough to count? No. Oh, really? It even made the sound, though. Which definitely does sound like that, the Metroid Prime 2 song. There we go. Oh, so it's it's a uh, it's a pixel in Found space chocolate. So open your ears. Doubt is like a tiny plant trying to push its way towards the light. But as soon as she sees it poking out of the dirt, she pours on more soothing words to kill it. You're making the cube fall apart. You're going to get to talk to your wife. You're going to get out. You're going to go home. You're going to save the whole earth. That's her poison. And you're drinking it. If you want it to stop, you have to stop it. Yeah, thanks. I kind of kind of figured that out. But, okay. uh, you know, way to make the plot as ham-fisted as possible. Well, you could either not cooperate and go nowhere... Or, or do solve the only the... actions available to you. Yeah, or solve the very linear game and go forward. Hey, the floor in here looks different. I wonder if that's significant. Oh, no.
Sure would be nice if this wasn't pre-rendered and I could look around. Wham. Garbage tilted floor. I've had enough tilted floor in this game. Hello. That's not a cube. Oh, now it's gameplay again. Can you tell? I have faith in you. It's going crazy out there. The outside of the cube is coming away in big chunks. It's incredible. You're doing really, really great. No word on talking to your wife yet, but it'll happen very soon. Hey, look, they don't have colliders again. Other than that... They probably don't want you climbing on it. Well, fuck you. I want to climb on it. It doesn't excuse, like, the other missing climbers, hey, yeah. but... Oh. That is such a gaping Where hole. I, I want to get in it. That is really exploitable out of context. Um... <laughs> myself back into the airlock and shut the door. I know it's just my brain keeping itself busy, and that's why we do isolation tests before we go out, but Christ. I'm orbiting out of range. I'm sorry. It's real no. consistent when you orbit in and out of range, Please, you know. It should be, yeah. I... I am, uh... I'm pretty sure God is Dead was, uh, she, she stole that from, from, uh, Nietzsche. Yeah, something like that. She, she's just trying to, like, take that as her original work. It's like, copy my homework, but don't make it obvious. And she's like, oh, God's Dead, but I was on a spacewalk. God's Dead, but I was on a spacewalk. And in case the player character doesn't believe me, we're going to add, uh, sad music strings in the background to, you know, really plug the gaps in our mediocre writing and just, like, force an emotional response because the lizard brain is very stupid. I have little patience for uh, bad writing enhanced by, you know, the sad music progression. It's taking itself seriously when it's it, not good enough to take itself seriously. Exactly. The writing does not deserve to be taken seriously as it is presented. That's suspicious. There's Ex a lot of suspicious stuff now. Yeah. I'm just glad we haven't had to roll a ball for a long time. <laughs> But if the last level was magnets and ball rolling and lasers, 
I'll be impressed, but also a little mad. But if I had to roll a ball while things around me looked incredibly suspicious, I'd get stuck in a wall and blame the 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 hack author. Wait, no, sorry, wrong stream. Um, it's fine. I can I can I can dunk on him here, right? Oh, it's a, is it a specific person? <laughs> because because rolling into a ball and getting stuck in places is just a, a general yeah true thing as well. Yeah, Specifically like... with, with the, the sprinkling of the word suspicious. It's like, eh, really? Hmm. Anyway, moving on, really. Now that would this be is a very ball. slow elevator. Would there, is, there, is there any dialogue that needs to happen here? Or am I just, uh, you know, hey, player, feel a thing? Yeah, that... It's a little silly. Is it because they literally didn't know how to load stuff in and out and so it's all one level it needs to fit together I don't know they're just putting giant gaps between them with an elevator it's supposed to be atmospheric I think I think I was meant to be making forward progress during that whole speech but I didn't and so now there's there's pacing issues oh, oh. The... uh oh <laughs> I got into a place I wasn't supposed to be. Nice. The gaping hall. Yep. Yeah, that's right. You were you were just jumping back and forth on on scenery instead of taking an elevator like you're supposed to. See, the portal games do the exact same thing, except you don't hate them for it. Because Cause they time the dialogue to the elevator. <laughs> they time the dialogue, and the dialogue takes place during the puzzles. Yeah. I found a pocket. Red cable. You can't pull it, that's unfortunate. Ah, uh, but you know what I can do? I despise this mechanic. I get it. I get it. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Not that the rest of this had to, I suppose, but like... Yeah, that's that's what I meant. <laughs> it's... This is a... It's, it's logical that they would have a thing similar to that, I guess. Because they're just coming up with whatever random elements. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied that there's not a secret underneath all of this. I didn't get any kind of achievement for either of the previous secrets, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I found those uh, years ago. But I also have no idea where any other secrets would be. Also, I can't get off this elevator. There we go, now I, now I can. It really is like Metroid Prime 2. Physics ish. Also, what does it feel like to be electric electrocuted by blue? Probably a little bit like Daba Dee Daba Die. Oh my god, shut up. That plays at my work sometimes. I hate it. I don't know who chose the the music tracks, but I hate them a little. You you are uh, are you still employed at a pornatorium? Yes. There's a better word for that. Oh yeah, Dildopolis, or I think it was. I I'm quite fond of pornatorium, honestly. 
It's all it's all accurate. But I Oh. I, uh, oh golly. But I can't help but feel that there's a good excuse somehow, some parody of of of, of I'm blue that would go well in your work environment. Great. I powered up all three we of those individual things. Got there. Took long enough. It's it was it's not even really a puzzle. It was more like just do the only possible thing. Oh no. Oh no, what are those? Those bombs. They actually oh. genuinely scared me. I forgot what these did. They attempt to run away from you. Sure, why not? A whole bunch of them in that corner. Hey, ball. Hey, ball. Get the fuck out of here, ball. This one is not alive. Rip. Ah, it I found was a secret. A secret? Haha. -ha. So obvious though. Okay, so I gotta get these balls in those zones. At the same time. Oh, yeah, I see now. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, you have to get to the other one, not that one. <laughs> Wait. No, you're good. Am I? I think I think you're pretty good. Because now you have basically a pocket for yourself. I need to get them active at the same time, I think. Yeah, but you have that red uh, red thing that you can pull out to kind of stop the ball from rolling. Oh, off. yes, of course. Is that not? It's not. Okay. Yeah, it's in a different spot. That's I why you have see. To do this one. I missed that. Yeah, kind of annoying. This I don't know. Unless you're supposed to just very quickly do it and then use the red one to push. Hmm. 
You have created a slightly disjointed Frank and Beans. <laughs> what? I've created a what? <laughs> slightly disjointed Frank and Beans. But not anymore. You took it apart. What in the fuck is Frank and Beans? Oh, that's that's just uh, that's another way of saying baby carrot and two coconuts. I'm it, so confused. It's, it's one of many many euphemisms for the male genitalia. Oh. Oh. This is kind of a pickle. And beans. <laughs> At least this is like a challenge. Yeah, you're right. This this is this at least has a challenge to it. something so so that's definitely done by pushing you use the red block to push yes but at what point <laughs> and why Wait a minute. Can the balls collide? They can. Yeah, they, yeah, they get in each other's way. Yes. I think that changed anything. <laughs> yeah, it was I was curious to see where it was going. So that exists as a pusher. Presumably because I shouldn't tilt 
that direction in solving this. Yeah, that's a, that I need to be able thought. to. I need to be able to nudge this into place, without just <laughs> tilting that direction, which means this is where it needs to be. That needs to get up here. Yeah. Tilt this direction to get it into place, and then push it back over. Yeah, you you can kind of picture the last two or three moves, but like setting it up is a challenge, specifically this part. Yeah. If it's, if it's, <laughs> it's just gonna fall off. If it's something that's just like you have to wiggle it by doing the purples really quickly, I'm gonna be pretty mad. Same. Oh, it really seems like that's possible. For a secret, like, puzzle, I, I can kind of actually, I think it's plausible. Ah! I tried. You would be in good shape now if it was, um, if, if it was on the green instead of on the... It's literally not letting you do it fast enough. No, it, it literally isn't. The design thing. Kind of being a bitch. Also the fact that they have enough momentum to just fuck off from where I've put them. Now they stop, of course. Oh, uh, hmm. I hate it. <laughs> Agreed. I... Oh, oh, that's the, that's it. That's, oh, that's it. Sort of. <laughs> now what? Um, that's close. Yeah, just just get the get the green one behind the uh, the red cup, like holder cup. And just do do that. Then 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 down tilt tilt it. Uh, yeah, that that end up. So you rolling that green ball in the bottom alleyway onto that green and striped one to line it up with the other red block. Nope. Other o opposite order. Okay. Here you're on the edge of that block. Can I like <laughs> if only Oh god, wait a minute. No. You did this. Oh. That's pretty good. 
Yeah, but it's, that'll, it's, that'll it's still the same. It's still the same issue. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. as well then... wait a minute wait a minute no this is not new never mind uh, yeah i think like i think this is right but it's as far as we can get except for the part where that thing rolled completely to the side which is kind of stupid yep bit, we shouldn't be doing that. a bit bullshit but you can reset it easily Um, physics. I don't think there's anything to be gained from like quickly to messing with it, because that's what's making it roll off to the side. Anything I'm missing in this room? No? Okay. Yeah, that is, uh, it's always a pain when there's actually a puzzle element that you missed. And you say, oh, well, with that, it's obvious. So I think this is as close as we've got. No, 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 no. Roll the other way. I hate you. Why? <laughs> that was the wrong fucking button. Do it now. Okay. 
Fine. We'll start with that side then. If you have such a natural tendency to roll that way, I guess I'll just let you roll that way. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. Why? Wait. I look forward to Googling the 30 second solution on YouTube. Wait. Did I not get the buzzer? They're literally both pointed right at it, though. Is it because it's not a, uh,. You know what? Yeah, this is gonna be fine. Is it because it's not a main puzzle, maybe? They don't do the, the buzzer? Oh no, no, no. Don't you fuckers goddamn. changed okay I'm gonna look up the solution fuck you I solved it you all saw it I had both lasers connected and the puzzle decided to be a bastard I'm leaving Hey, look, ball. It's an object that turns at right angles every time it hits an object. It also makes a terrible noise. So you see how this blinks every so often? Yeah, I can't interact with it during those periods. Isn't that fun? Shit, shit, oh. 
Yep, just can't. Just can't. Also, I guess to answer the earlier question, uh, no, it's not always uh, three pips for the red blocks, because it's not three pips right now. Okay, so I just watched it on YouTube, and nothing happened when they solved it either. Oh, really? They got an achievement for it, though. But you probably already did that. Years ago, and have forgotten. Yeah, but the game doesn't acknowledge... Doesn't game. acknowledge victory in any way besides that? Right. Cool! Also, if you had reset the puzzle at any point, you would have made things a lot easier for yourself. Really? The, the, the two green balls start out at opposite ends, and, and that makes a big difference. Motherfucker. What did I do? Awesome. Fuck you! Yes, that needs to be activated by that thing. <laughs> okay, it's at least trapped in this corner now. certainly looks cool for a game this old. It's that comes back out. It's that turns back around. I had it hit the blue thing once and I do not remember what the configuration was for that all already. Oh, that's what it was. Ball. Yeah, that sure is a mechanism that exists. Boing! Clusters. Yeah, you just, you can't interact with blocks that the ball is approaching. Uh, that's the flickering mechanic. It's, um, irritating. Boing. 
boing. Yeah, those look normal. Hey, this gap that I definitely should be able to fit through based on gaps that I have fit through previously in this game. Can't fit through it for story reasons. Also, stop trying. This other gap, you can fit through that. This is an open pit. Trapped in a smaller loop while I figure out what the hell to do with you next. So lower that, you get sprung back into that. Hit that, hit that, hit not that. There we go. Sprawing. Oh boy, static. We've got lore. Listen to me. The whole thing is Blech. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, we got. I can see on I... your camera. Look around you. You really think this is an alien craft? The colors, the symbols, they're all human. They're all things you can understand and solve. Yeah, it's we all figured part of we. It. we... And you think the cube is really falling to pieces? The hanging wires, the holes in the wall, none of them lead you anywhere. They don't want you to go. You need to lose your faith. Yeah, they sure are concepts that I put together myself in, like, the second room. Good, yeah. Good writing. And, and we'll get off the railroad just as soon as that's uh, possible. Yeah. Wait, were they not confident enough in their puzzles that they felt they needed to add this? Or... I, I mean, they, you know, you, 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 you played Portal. A key portion of Portal being as amazing as it is is the deception, right? Hmm. I, I think. Like, I, like I, I, I commented on this at the beginning, but like, there are a lot of games. For which, my sarcastic comment, boy, the devs really did like Portal, is basically just the summary of how it was created. They played Portal, they liked Portal, and so yeah. they made a Portal. They didn't make a puzzle game, they made Portal. They, they couldn't identify why it was good, just that it was good. <laughs> hey look, we've got color mixing and lasers, what did you predict? Also, now there's mm. mirror cubes, but not the kind that you can pick up in place. I'm just glad there's no more rolling right now. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> also, like, these are... Hello? Hold on. Okay. Um. I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna deal with that phone call processing later.
still with me, do we? I am here Woo. as well. All right. More lasers, more color mixing, more sarcasm. I need to make orange, I guess. That's orange, right? There we go. Oh, now I need to make green, I suppose. That's not the one I was trying to click. Very helpful. Um, okay. Got there. Spring. Hey, fingers crossed you're getting this. Look, I have some bad news. That link up with your wife, it doesn't look like it's going to be possible. Yep. But hey, you're almost on the home stretch anyway. You'll get to see her soon. How do you wait? By what do you way, how do you know what do you some kind of uh, interference on your signal frequency? It's probably just a wave of radiation passing by the cube. I'll look into it. Everything you're doing is great. Keep doing it. What does that mean? Like it's 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 so obviously a deception. Like what? Everything you're Not doing is trying. great. How can you possibly know that? She stopped even trying. Yeah. Everything you're doing is great. Keep doing it. That's meaningless. They should at least be trying to make you question whether whether she's right or whether the, the guy is right. That would at least be something. doesn't block light somehow. Oh, then that's it, the power of the cube. Then again, ni the neither do I. So, whatevs. Alright, now this has to be a secret, right? I could just hop right over this. No, of course not. Why? Oh, I've gotten stuck. I've gotten stuck. There we go. Honestly, the environments being made out of primitives, like, was striking initially, but now it just seems like we didn't know how to create textures, and so we did not. This has to be a bonus puzzle, right? 
right? Yeah. Boink. Oh, that probably wasn't supposed to oh. happen. Also, that's a very long red. Still only three positions, though. Maybe they're all that long <laughs> on the inside. Oh, gosh. That's a good line, I admit. So that's my one option for that that does anything. Do you think I need to get those to line up in timing? Hmm. I think I might. What, what happens if you try to smush it between the red one and the yellow one. I can't activate the yellow one uh, if the red one is already in the way. No, that's lame. I just, I just can't. Oh well, better give up. Is there a control that I'm missing? No. I wonder if you can push the uh, push that cube out a little bit, not from the third yellow one, but from one of the others, to kind of stagger it, but it's still pushable, and then push it onto the red one with the other red one. Doesn't seem like it. Oh wait. I can reflect the wire, as we learned in that other area. What? Yeah, sure, pushing that definitely moves the whole... whatever. Gross. All of this is gross. Okay, so if it lands about there when I do that... Or, no, hang on. I need that to be... It tumbles into the pit, pit pretty much. I need it to be there. Yeah. That's all I need. Cool. So basically this puzzle was realize that you can push the wire and the rest is just kind of interact with the one thing you can interact with. Hmm. Hey, I noticed I didn't get an achievement for that either. I guess I solved that years ago too. Or maybe I had to? This connects to the rest of the hallway. Spraying. Spraying. Oh, that's also out of Portal 2. Chain reaction spraying. Hey there, antechamber. Oh, this seems this seems fine.
Why would you not restrict this to coordinates? This just seems bad. Good. Good physics. Okay. Unbeknownst to you, all of that was intentional. up this way about that much move them all that way about that much judged how quickly and or slowly the big ones slide just a little I need to corral them differently That's where I need these to be. Piss. Irritating. <laughs> There we go. Oh, what? And now I can go in there. Okay. Seamless. It's very bright. Yeah, there we go. Now you've reacted. Ooh, our gloves are doing something different. Crab life by the balls. Um, so now you just do red, blue, and yellow to whatever blocks you want. Is that it? Also, our gloves are covered in little hexagons, which means this is crisis. Also, these 
once again, don't. Once again, don't have colliders. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Hello? Who is this? Who are you and how are you on this frequency? The other paid actor. Sir, this is a private government channel. I don't know how you're broadcasting out here, but what you're doing is illegal. What is your name? You people scrub my name out of my head. All I am is a number you gave me. Nine one nine. And you can pretend all you want, but now he knows the truth. No faith, just facts. Hello? Hello? Listen to me. I have no idea who that person is. Whatever he's been saying to you, you need to ignore it. If he contacts you again, just blank it out. I'll contact Mission Control and find out what the hell is going on. I'm yeah, you're transparent, remember, uh, and also the other guy is the the crazy cop of your bad cop crazy cop routine. It's all coming together. Each one thinks that they are the crazy cop, or the other is the crazy cop. There we go. Unbeknownst to them, all cops are bad cops. All cops are paid actors. Thank you, Danny. Oh, look, another elevator for which I was probably supposed to be hearing all of that happen, but, uh, oops. Ah, we're going diagonally. How innovative. Uh, I'd say it's more innovative. Whoops. Good loading screen! Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay, so you were right. Now I have to pick up the colors. Okay. Uh, I think blue was a good good choice. Yeah. Are you not able to do it on the ones up here? No, no, only the sparkly ones. I just don't know where else the sparkly ones are. Oh, that's just a door if you get close enough to it. Cool! Good hinting. <laughs> you were saying Forest Temple? Spirit Temple, Forest Temple, whatever. Yeah. Oh! This is the part where I snore. Yeah, because it's this thing again, but now we have to populate the fields ourselves. But the puzzles remain the, the same. Pretty much. Now, I will say... You can only actually get uh, one color each. Like you can only you can only get the color once. Kind of rude. Also, it always applies to the exact middle, unless it's the yellow, in which case it gets all of them. So if you're thinking the control on this looks a bit ass, you're right. 
I still only have left and right click. I think it fell in the hole. What? Oh. Oh, there was more sparkly. Well, forgive me, I didn't see slightly brighter white on white. Not even close to them. That one's blue. Uh, yeah, the blue one should be red. The red one should be blue. That's my theory. Oh, or that. Yeah, because it still needs the jump potential. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just needs the push potential. Yep. There we go. Bang. Oh, hey. Thank you for the raid, Fox. Oh, gosh. Also math. Oh, boy. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Oh, more nausea hallway. My apologies. Hey, that's running at a lower frame rate right now. That's weird. Oh, wait a minute. The emote wall is also a 2D physics simulation, isn't it? Oops. <laughs> hmm. I might have a bit more uh, Streamlabs debugging to do. <laughs> Wait, three more whole raids? Uh-oh. Sounds good. Wow, this hallway is giving a... me nausea. I like that effect. So... So we really gave up on the whole counting to six thing, didn't we? Yeah. We just it just kind of got forgotten. It stopped at five. Then we were hoping the player wouldn't notice. Maybe if they erased our memory. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave because it's late. That makes sense. <laughs> but you're you're on tomorrow too, right? I sure Friday am. Night magic tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I'll probably see you then. Maybe. Uh, I'll see you when I see you at least. All right. So, have a good night. Good night. Thanks much for tuning in, being around, oh, etc. Happy to happy to be here. Hey. Okay, now what the fuck am I doing? It's... It's not? It's not tagged first playthrough, is it? Shouldn't be. I, pl I tagged this casual playthrough. There was supposed to be tagged casual playthrough. Is it not?
Okay, thank God. Well, it doesn't look like much of anything then if you didn't read it. I mean, if you're going to give me sass about it, I would hope that you do. That's maybe a little bit more forceful than I needed it to be. Oh gosh. I also just realized this is in the wrong place entirely. I need this to be ending up over there. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Jules, the wall doesn't rotate. That's the whole deal. <sighs> I'm smart sometimes. See, well, welcome properly, White Fox Effect. How you? Our fellow fluffy friend. Damn it. Good enough! It counts! That doesn't seem terribly helpful. That's probably more useful. Some kind of jumper. Some kind of staircase. Some kind of rotator. Get it in position. Retract the jumper. Extend the thingy. Perfect. Time for more upsetting hallways. Okay. Fingers crossed you're hearing this. The man on your radio? This 919 person? Mission control say that seven years ago, they had a space shuttle malfunction and fall out of orbit. The shuttle's name was 919. Oh, we're talking to the shuttle, huh? Oh, yep. Time for more upsetting hallways. Everything is undulating. Everything is undulating. There's no safe place to look. It's all doing it. Out of range. I'm warning you. Deep 
space in isolation destroy the mind. Don't listen to that voice. Thanks for coming up to the level of the floor. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. Uh, hi. Um, does this just become a... It sure does. Considering my... Well... Hmm. What's the best way to make that reach me? Is there another one of these on the edges of the room? No. Oh, but there could be. Those are on the same layer. Yeah, those have roughly the same coordinates. Dinger. Dinger. Despite the fact that this isn't the, like, candy cane striped indicator for where it respawns and is some kind of new spawn a cube yourself, there is no way to click that space and make it respawn without, you know, retracting the color altogether. Oh, wait. Only one of those is slanted. That's the solution. There we go. Okay, so step one. We'll need to blue up to that, probably. <laughs> oh my. First check, does that get me to the right height? Nearly. I think perhaps more likely though. Does they need to do that? Tracked yellow. Uh, wait. Oh, no, hang on. I'm overthinking it massively. Kind of. How do I get from there to there? Mm. 
Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. I take it you've played this. Yeah, I beat it. A couple <laughs> years ago. I know. You know, I like watching you struggle. Sh shut up, Denver Bear Hunter. Overthinking is incredibly common to me. Wait a minute. Fuck you. <laughs> ah, now it's twisty and undulating. I don't like it. You don't like undulating? I do. I, in this case, no, I do not. This is deeply upsetting. jump here long enough it'll break it says who me shush oh oh my mistake what does that do on the floor ah Oh, that's weird. I don't like that at all. That's what that does on the floor. <laughs> the building is really into this. <laughs> so I need to get that there. And then what else? Miss Heathen, I thought about you today. All right, catch the cube first with that. Not quite. Really? <laughs> Gosh. I love it. I love your broken solutions, but only when they work. It'll work eventually. I'm glad someone thinks so. Wow, rude. <laughs> no, I need to, I need to scoop this, don't I? No, don't do that yet. Yeah, do one full rotation like that. One eternity later. <laughs> For heaven's sake, they're not treats anymore. They're carrots. Why aren't they treats? Because they needed a jewelry theme for the rebrand. How is carrots? Uh, they are fox treats, by the way. Excuse me? 
Yeah, I'll take a screenshot. Twitch? Did you not actually update the name on the thing? Nope. It did on my end, Techno. Message. There you go. Well, that's pesky. Well, cool. I re-sprited the thing and renamed it, and that didn't actually change. I'm running out of power. If you don't believe me now, this may be your last chance. She's lying. That's how people lie, with lots of little details. They tell you about a date, a time, a name. It makes it seem real, but it's not real. Probably in the same goddamn box. I I'm gonna bang on the wall. Listen. Uh oh. Well, I stepped on the thing too late. Or too soon. Whatever. Undulating Ooh. things. Ooh. I don't know if you can hear me banging. I love it. But you have to believe what I'm saying. I. Wait. Oh my god. The name they told you, Jonathan Burns. <gasps> it's not a name, it's a threat. You're Jonathan, and they're going to burn you. Jesus Christ, they're going to make you walk right into the incinerator. Very believable. Cool. Good story. I'm losing signal. Don't listen to her. Yeah, they're gonna make they're gonna make you walk into uh, walk into the incinerator because we played Portal. Mm -hmm. oh also, what are you talking about? The fire doesn't even hurt me. Also, like, no, don't to him. this is supposed to be lying. I don't know. Get in a shuttle. This is supposed to be an alien thing into which you can't... Oh my god, shut the fuck up. I don't care. Um, this is supposed to be an alien thing into which they cannot possibly see. How do I... How do they know where things are? I'm moving out of range. Please, go! Do you think it's a Never thought about that. Hop the railings, can't actually do anything. It's a deeply convincing narrative, I'm sure. But I, as the player, have no real agency in this. How about my... The president is on the line. Is the president a good person this time or no? Has he forgiven student loans yet or done anything actionable about the police? I don't want to talk to him. Have you ever played the Turing test? Uh... You're right, I should just check um, Steam. I don't recognize the name? Damn, it's good to see you. 
Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, I've been here. Yeah. I'm so tired of the story. Well, thank you. Just quite I remembered it was be. I remember it was annoying. That's what I remember about this game is that it's deeply annoying. What's that one wibbly one? There's one in the distance, like dead center, that's wibbly. What? What? Math, what did you say? If you're gonna, like, what? What did you say? Well, you see, they took one of the developers' names, Jonathan, and put that into the game. Uh, and they took the other developer's last name, Hall, and uh, added a whole bunch of those so people could ramble on. Who knows? Story is not strong with this. Puzzles are also not particularly strong with this. The Turing test has better for both. T Turing test sure is the name of a logic game. I, that's about all I can put together. <laughs> that's fine, I sent you a link. Okay. Baron Danks. Dank. <laughs> Yep. Hell, it again, it didn't even have to have a story. It could have just been a series of abstract puzzle rooms. You mean like antechamber? Like antechamber or like um well no, Chroma Gun does pretend to have a story too, doesn't it? Um Yeah, it 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 could have been like antechamber. It could have just been there's some weird shit going on. Figure it out. But instead, there's like... A, some kind of supposed deception... That's... So poorly written, it seems transparent, and then it turns out to just be the truth, but poorly written. Hey! Hey, you see... You see that name? You see that name? Jonathan Blow? <laughs> you piece of shit! In all seriousness, thank you for funding indie projects, but, uh... I hate you, Jonathan Blow. You do not know how to make a, a story. No, blowing is not a bad thing. <laughs> uh, that feel like a game from 2014? I think it felt older. Yeah. 
No, it wasn't ambiguous enough to be older. Also, that's that's the end screen. Toxic Games 2014. Oh, no, there it goes. Return to title. Yep, cool. Well. Nope. <laughs> I was right. Against the clock is, uh, is indeed uh, speedrun mode, which I am not interested in. And they don't even spell anything. It's not a Dead Space reference. Okay! Well, I beat the whole thing. Great job. Oh, cool. The transitions are running slow again. Great. I guess there's something larger wrong with OBS than the bit cup. I'll figure it out. I think the stream PC may be in need of an actual upgrade uh, soon, asterisk, though. Which is a shame, because I definitely don't have that in the budget. Yeah, taking out the bit cup did help the CPU usage, but every time the stinger transition happens, it, it goes to hell again. Um... I may need to just do away with the Rotate Crystal Stinger transition, which is kind of a shame. But if I'm going to continue having performance issues, then I don't really have a choice. Um, which, again, is one of the most frustrating parts of all of this, because it doesn't happen every stream. Some streams, the bit cup and the transition are perfectly fine. But recently, it seems to be fucking up more often, and I do not know why. Inconsistency is a pain in the ass to debug. Yep. Anyway, that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow is Friday Night Magic Session 67, because I missed it the previous time. So excited for two uh, more after that. Oh yeah, yeah. I've I've got some special plans for uh, Friday Night Magic. Nice. <laughs> by by which I mean I really ought to figure out some plans for Friday Night Magic. Nice. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out eventually. Uh, just got a little bit of housekeeping to do in the back end here as we wrap up. Matt, do you have any suggestions for where to take this? Any suggs? Let's check. No. No, that's where I'm at right now. What is that? What is that? Okay, cube completed. There we go. Congrats. Uh, I've got one that might work. I'm waiting for ads. <clears throat> All right, so... Oh, Jesus, that sounds frankly terrifying. Prehensile spider penises. What? No. I don't like that at all, Dan. Um... Speaking of terrible situations like that, uh, our living situation is a terrible situation. Uh, and we are looking to leave. If if anybody hanging out can contribute even a little or, or uh, knows someone who can, please. Uh, it's a bit bad. It's not like... It's, I was going to say it's not urgent, but it's... it's, it's uh, it, the mold continues to occur 
uh, roughly monthly, no matter what we do about it. And uh, it does not speak to my confidence in this building. Or its management. Um, but yeah. Uh, beyond schedule and that thing, I don't really have any looming other housekeeping. Um, have the ads resolved for you, Math? Yes. Okay. And the best I have right now is Blue Zest TV. Okay. Well, <laughs> let me pull a thing from the pull a thing from the quote database and and is that quote the raid message no <laughs> I don't I don't it know if, I, better if it was should the quote system be the raid message I think that's dangerous <laughs> Let's pull another one and see what happens. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll keep with why am I aroused? Why not? Um, <laughs> there. We'll do it like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks again, everybody, for hanging out. Have a lovely rest of the night. And away we go. <laughs> Hopefully this all runs at the right speed. We'll find out.